guys, we are back. Good evening, good morning, or good afternoon. As always, it is so great to see you. And friends, welcome to another episode of the 2021 Canvas Print Shootout. And today, we're gonna be cracking open the canvas print that came in from Bay Photo. Now, if this is your first video that you're watching, just to kind of get you caught up to where we are right now, in the previous years, what we've done is each year I have a canvas uh, shoot it where I will spend no more than $100. I try to order the same size print from everybody and that's usually a 16 by 24. And then what I'll do is I will compare, get in front of a camera like I'm doing right now and I'll compare all the prints in one video. The problem is, last year for example, I compared seven companies. That was over a two hour video. And some of the feedback that I got back from you, uh, from you folks was it was a beast of a video to sit down in a single watch. So what we're gonna do this year is a little bit different because mainly because there are 11 companies that we're comparing this year. Yeah, 11. So rather than having you sit down and watch a five hour video, what we're doing is we're breaking up each review, first impressions in a single video. Now, if you wanna check out the other uh, companies that we uh, tested this year, again, there's 10 others other than this one right here. So there's 11 total. Check out the description below. We're gonna have links to each of the those reviews. Now, if you just wanna jump to see who did we crown for the 2021 best canvas print, check the description below. We're gonna have a link to that as well. And that will ultimately be just a single video that's going to show who we crowned. And the reason why we do these sort of videos, it's important. You know, we see over the last 10 years, we have, or geez, 11 years, we get a lot of questions from photographers that you know are either getting involved into photography, want to get canvas prints, or had a bad experience with a print company, they're asking our advice. Um, and you know, I get it. A lot of these companies use kind of misleading marketing uh, on their pages, you know, claiming to be the best, this and that. And people, consumers like yourself, get jaded. You don't know which is really legitimately the best canvas print. So what we're doing here is we're going out and each year we put on these videos to help you make an educated decision. So therefore you know if you do business with this particular company, if you buy a print from a particular company, what sort of print you're going to get. And my R6 is overheating so I have to shut that off right now. <laughs> One hour later. That said, now let's take a dive into this print and Let's see how it looks. So, packaging looks fantastic. Again, considering that there is a, a 16 by 24 print in here, so that tells me the box's size. We have some, we have the same packets nicely here. They have it packaged nicely, rather. You figure out how to put this thing up. Okay, cool. All right, so now we just cut. Okay. Okay, all right, so this is looking really, this is what I'm talking about. I like this. So you have this outer shell that is protecting. This is really, okay, I give these guys props. This is shipped really fantastic. So we have this outer shell right here, down there. And then on the inside, you have the print actually taped into this other inner shell. And again, the reason why this is important is as these prints are being shifted or, or shipped from one location to another, this thing's just shifting around, sifting around. So you really wanna have the print really locked down as, as, as much as possible, and that's going to protect the print. Uh, in this particular case, this thing is going nowhere. This is, this is really well done. You have these straps holding it down to this inner cavity. I really, I like that. That's really, they put a badass job on your shipping. Okay, and then we had, inside we had a copy of my order, all the details, I'm gonna put that right over here. So the print, oops. okay, it's inside this plastic bag, which is nice to see, all right. One thing I've noticed here with this bag that they shipped it on, this is a little bit heavier 
than some of the other bags, which is nice as well. Ooh, I just noticed something I really like. Okay. So there are a couple things that I'm noticing right off the get-go. The first impressions, it looks very vibrant. It looks... Again, one of the first things I'm looking at is the color of the snow. Again, with, with uh, snow, it's easy for it to pick up either some warm tones or some blue uh, tones with it. And it really doesn't look bad. But if you look at this, you notice something on here? Now keep in mind, well, that's right, if you're the, if this is your first time to the channel, you don't know this yet, but in the corner of each print, I have this big, nasty, just huge logo. And that's there for, the primary reason that that is there, to see if anybody's actually looking at these things. If there's, you know, quality control, if somebody's gonna reach out, hey, this thing looks really awful. Because again, as I've mentioned in other videos, if you're, we're all human and we make mistakes. And imagine for a moment if you're shipping this out to a client and there's this big nasty logo over on the side, you know, hey, you might want to take a look at it or are you sure, does this need to be edited? In this particular case here, as you can see, there's the logo. So it got wrapped around to the outer side there. So clearly nobody took a look at that and I had no communication from these folks. Um, and it looks to me like a lot of the images is lost, I've noticed, going around the edge versus, it seems like it's been blowing up a little bit. Um, and I think that's what they probably might have did to push this this logo off the, the front of this here. They, they blew it up, so you're it, it just doesn't have that same feeling that the others had. So looking at the edges, I will say the edges look really... They just look really good. There's a little bit. So this has a nice backing on it, which I'll get to that in a moment. But here's something I'm looking on the top of these here. There's almost the cam seems just a tad bit loose on the top here, as if it could have been almost stretched just a little bit tighter. Um, So again, the canvas is not, it's not as loose as some of the others that we've seen, but it's also not as tight. And again, you want a good tight canvas because that's just going to ensure that the canvas is going to last a lot longer um, or look amazing over the years. Now, when I flip this over, I really like the back of this. And you know me, over the years, there's one thing that I talk about even with our previous winners uh, I talk about, I love having a back. Is it needed? No, but, and do you see it? Absolutely not. Uh, but it just looks, it looks really nice. When you have a nice front canvas, to me, a back covered up, it just completes it for me, my personal taste. Um, the mounting hardware on this, it's already on here. And one of the things I'm always curious about, so it's two feet, two feet. So it's uh, pretty much dead center, which is really nice. So last year, a couple companies that had mounting hardware already on the back of it, it wasn't straight. So if you were to hang it up, your photo would have been crooked. So it's nice. They actually have some nice mounting hardware. They have the little felt stops on the bottom. So when you're hanging it up against the wall, that's gonna keep the bottom from rubbing against the, the wall itself. Now, what I'm curious about here is I'm gonna peel this up here because of course a bag like this while I enjoy it, it also hides what's underneath and there's other components that are super important to a canvas print and all right case in point okay so one of the first things their staple frequency is actually pretty good um, it's not the best, but it is, it's actually pretty good. Um, and considering that this is hiding the canvas, the cuts underneath are really nice and tight. It looks nice and neat. I'm actually, I'm actually pretty surprised because usually when you have, the, the few companies that do have a backing on it, it's usually 
hiding all sorts of nasty work underneath it because most people think nobody's ever going to look at it. This looks really good underneath the paper here. Now there's one thing that I don't see that I really would like to see. And that is, again, some level of bracing. Whether it's just a center uh, brace or corner bracing, that is really nice to have. It just adds a little bit more beef to the, the front. The, the front, the wood that they're using on the frame is decent quality. Again, and as I've mentioned in previous uh, other videos or other reviews, uh, some of the frames I've seen over the years have been such rough cut uh, wood that you just running your fingers against it would uh, give you splinters. This is actually really nice. It's sanded really nice. The corners look really, they look good. It looks really good. So off the get go, I like the mounting hardware. I like that they, they put the back on it, which is really nice. I don't like that there's, no bracing in it. The staple frequency uh, is pretty good. Um, they dropped the ball on the logo and they zoomed in on the photo so that to hide the low, likely hide the logo that's over on the back side of it, um, which I'm not happy about. The corners look pretty good with the exception of again, up here just looks a little bit, as I mentioned a moment ago, looks like it could have been tightened down just a little bit more. Um, and is the color as nice as I would like it? Uh, it seems just a tad bit heavy on the saturation side, um, but overall, this is a good print. Um, I, I, I would, if I had ordered this, I would have been happy with this. Um, so good job to you, Bay Photo. Now, as I've mentioned in previous videos, this is just one of 11, or excuse me, one of 11 of these canvas print reviews that we're doing uh, part of the, the 2021 series. Now, if you wanna take a look at the other reviews uh, from the other companies, check out the description below. And also, uh, right down there, we're also gonna have ultimately the video that's going to crown uh, the victor, or I'm sorry, the, the winner of the 2021 best canvas prints. So again, that will give you the ability to take a look at some of the other canvas prints, how they compare to this one, and then ultimately see who won. That's it, my friends. We're going to see you in the next video.